Hi, hello, it's Hayley. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, this is going to be my last video for 2016, which is very exciting. I'm very excited about that. Um, and it's going to be maybe an interesting one, um, probably mostly for me, but maybe also for you. Um, I'm going to talk about um, some more personal stuff. So it might be a good one to kind of get to know me a little bit more um, before my surgery um, process really starts. Um, I'm going to talk about not that my other videos aren't personal, but I'm going to talk about some um, more personal things just in my personal life um, here. I've taken some inspiration from Esther. Um, I think Esther's YouTube name is Esther's VSG Trek. Um, I'll correct that if I'm wrong, but she's just beautiful. I just love her. She's one of my favorite to watch. Um, one of my favorites to watch, I should say. Sorry, that's terrible grammar. Um, and she did a video um, not too long ago where she talked about some goals that she set for the new year. So I wanted to do the same. Um, I'm not usually a big goal setter, um, really. Not in a big way and certainly not like for the start of the year. I'm really not a New Year's resolution kind of person either. Um, and actually I've intentionally tried to make these goals pretty concrete and not so much resolutions as things that I'd like to achieve rather than things I'd like to start doing stop doing some of them are things I want to start doing I guess but um, I just tried to make them quite specific and achievable um, I was actually talking to a workmate about my goals um, for the new year I'm trying to get some more ideas um, and she was saying like this just sounds like a wish list like you can't just have a wish list um, but I guess that's kind of what I wanted to do and what um, I kind of thought would be helpful going forward. So what this video is going to be is 17 goals that I've set for myself for 2017. And actually, you know what? It was kind of hard to set 17 goals, to be honest with you. So, um, but I've done it. And they're all things that I do want to achieve. None of them are fluff. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll um, get started. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to be looking over here. You're in front of my computer, so my goals are up on the screen um, behind you, behind the camera. Um, so I'll be looking off to the side a little bit here um, just to read my goals, I suppose. Um, so number one, the first goal that I've set for myself for 2017 is to get off antihypertensives. So I have got hypertension. It's only pretty minor. Uh, my doctor was reluctant to medicate me, um, but she did. Um, and I want to, in the new year, get off that um, hypertension medication. So I have a, um, a real family history of hypertension. Both my mom and my dad um, have had hypertension long term. My dad's is pretty severe. My mom's has gone um, post sleeve. Um, so there is family history there and also obviously um, morbidly obese. So that that would contribute. Uh, and my diet, you know, I'm not, I eat a lot of salt. I don't add a lot of salt, but I eat a lot of salty foods. Um, just things like that. I'm, I'm not particularly healthy. So I wanted to kind of make some health oriented goals. So that was one way I felt like I could measure it and something that I could achieve. So that's number one goal is get off antihypertensives. Um, and I think I can probably do that pretty quickly, I'm hoping. So yeah, that's number one. Number two is to have a blood test and have normal healthy bloods. So my, um, when I have a blood test generally, and I have had a couple recently, they're pretty close to normal. My blood sugar is always at the very top end of healthy. So it is in the healthy range, always has been, um, but it's at the top and I don't want it to be at the top. Um, and yeah, like I just want, I guess, to have some very healthy um, great blood. So I'm probably not too far away from achieving that. I hope um, when my diet cleans up, hopefully that will be easy to achieve. So my third goal that I've set, and this could be a little bit um, wishful thinking perhaps, but I've set a goal to by the end of 2017 have an overweight BMI. So currently my BMI is definitely well into morbidly obese. Um, so I have a long way to go to get to just overweight. Um, and that's why I haven't set it as, you know, hoping for a healthy BMI by the end of 2017. Um, I'm having my surgery two thirds of the way through February. So I'll really only have 10 months of weight loss. Um, and I'm just not sure if I can really nail, you know, certainly not goal weight. Um, but I'll be happy with just a decimal point into overweight by the end of the year. I'm not really sure. I haven't done the maths on um, how achievable that is. Um, I'm hoping it's, it's something I can achieve, but to be honest with you, it could just be completely wishful thinking. I don't know. Um, so a fourth one that I've set, again, maybe seems a bit ambitious, but it's to run 10 kilometers. Um, I used to love to run. Last time I lost weight um, doing 12WBT, which is an online program for anyone who hasn't heard of it. 
um, I was running 14, 15 kilometers. The longest I ran regularly was 14 kilometers and I actually did a Tough Mudder, which was 21 kilometers, but I didn't run the whole way. Um, Tough Mudder, there was kind of a lot of waiting and a lot of messing around. So it's not really a 21 kilometer run, but I could certainly run almost 14 kilometers comfortably. Um, so by the end of the year, I guess that'll maybe be like eight or nine months of training, um, of running regularly, hopefully. Mm, maybe seven or eight months by the time I just want to lose a little bit of weight and I'll just start off with just little jogs because I can't put a lot of pressure on my body I don't want to get any injuries and I am you know obese so I don't want to start running straight away but I'm hoping you know with eight or nine months of uh, maybe I'll start with a catch to 5k and then work up to a 10k so by the end of the year I would love to be running 10 kilometers um, that would be great so my fifth goal is something a little bit more personal. Um, I am training to be a train driver here in Melbourne. Um, I am a train driver, I'm in my training phase. Um, and so my goal that I've set myself is to pass all my driving assessments with higher than adequate scores and to have no safety incidents, which is I think what my friend was getting at when she was saying, you know, that's just a wish list. Um, that's a goal that probably will achieve itself because um, my training is like a set time frame basically kind of um and she's like you know well, you'll just achieve that just naturally surely um but the higher than adequate score and without any safety incidents are very important to me um i'm a bit of a perfectionist and i do pride myself on getting good marks um with my exams and stuff at work so you know i'm hoping to do well rather than just pass um in that the sixth goal, which is does seem really similar, is to get my train driving qualification, um, which is another thing that I'll probably just tick off. But I wanted to make them separate goals because one of them is more time related and one is more effort related, um, which I know might seem a little silly, but it just made sense to me. So that's my sixth goal. My seventh goal is a financial goal, and I've set myself the goal to save seven to 10% of my wage, 10% being the real goal, seven I'll consider acceptable. And the reason for that is, as I said, I am training and I'm on a lower training wage, um, um, but towards the end of the year, I'll get a pay rise. So I'm hoping to save in that range, seven to 10% of my wage. So my next goal that I've set myself is to move to a new apartment in spring. Um, another one that might seem like just kind of a wish list thing, but uh, I was just a little worried that I would get stuck here. I hate where I live, really hate it. It's not nice at all. Um, I want to get away from my neighbors. I just, I would really like to move. So I'm going to aim for spring just because that seems like a financially um, sensible time to move. And with work, that seems like the time, um, you know, when I'll be able to move, that seems like um, an appropriate time in my life. Um, and moving, I just felt like was something that, if I didn't set it as a goal, I might spend the rest of the year here or all of, of this coming year here. And I didn't wanna to have to do that. The next goal is a little bit wishy-washy, I guess, not very concrete, but what I've written is to develop an academic skill of some sort once my driving becomes more natural to me. So at the moment I put in a lot of hours of study. Um, my job takes a lot of mental energy from me. It's not like a physically hard job, but mentally it's, it's a lot, you know, in training. Um, but it does come quite automatically to drivers eventually so um, I wanted to fill the space that this learning process is taking up with something else. Um, I'm not sure what that will be yet. So if anyone has any suggestions and academic skills that I can kind of build myself, um, I'm not really sure about a language but something something like that, uh, maybe you could leave me a comment and mention that because I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I just wanted to try and um, I guess achieve something academically um, in the later half of the year that will be. Um, and then the next one, fit in at least occasional volunteer work, which might sound a bit um, weak saying occasional volunteer work, but because I'm a shift worker or will be a shift worker, um, I'm not sure how much I can commit to something that's like regular every week. I have a good friend who volunteers every Friday morning and for me that wouldn't be reasonable um, because just because of shifts. So I wanted to work under another friend who is a wildlife carer for Wildlife Victoria um, and she is looking for rescuers to work under her. So I think um, in the new year um, I'll do a couple of little day training courses um, and get not qualified but um, do the kind of couple of day courses anyway. Whatever. Uh, I'd really like to start rescuing wildlife. Um, all it is really is you go and literally rescue the wildlife, take it to a carer, they look after it. There you go. That's some some nice way to volunteer and it's something that's flexible. You can do it in your own time. They really need volunteers 24-7 basically. So, um, yeah. The next one maybe a little personal. Sorry if it's weird. Sorry, mum, for 
if you're listening. I mean, not that, whatever, it's fine. Um, the next goal that I wrote down is to buy some really nice underwear, um, which <laughs> seems like something that I can probably achieve tomorrow if I wanted to, but I'm just not the kind of person who wears cute underwear, and maybe I want to be. I don't know. Maybe I do. So I wrote that. Um, I'll probably leave that until I've lost a fair amount of weight because I don't, it's expensive. <laughs> I don't want to just grow out of it, hence why I'm not going to do it tomorrow. But um, the next goal that I've written down is to take an actual holiday. And I have had holidays in the last couple of years, but usually when I have um, holidays from work, I go and visit my dad, which is lovely. I love visiting my dad. He lives on this beautiful property. It's massive. It's beautiful. It's so scenic. It's very relaxing. Um, but it's not, it doesn't really feel like a holiday. I haven't been overseas in years. My passport's expired. Um, and I just really want to get away and just reward myself for my hard work in 2016 and early 2017. So when I have some time, it might only be a week. Um, I want to go away somewhere, whether it's overseas or maybe to somewhere um, around Australia. There's a couple of nice islands and stuff or New Zealand, Tasmania, um, what have you. But that's something I put there, which is a bit of a treat. That's a nice goal to achieve, taking a holiday. Um, but it's just because I know myself and I know that if I don't put that there, it, it just won't happen. So my next goal I've written is to start with the work gym. So my work, um, around my work, they have gyms um, that I can join and I can work out in. Um, but I have to have like an induction first just to make sure I suppose that I won't hurt myself. Um, there's a PT that I have to meet with first and have a little workout just, you know, so I, they know that I know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I've actually signed up. I already pay because it's part of another membership that I pay. But um, yeah, in the new year, I'd, um, I'd like to start working out there. You know, just before or after work, probably more after work. Um, some people work out in their breaks. That's fine. You can do that. So it's good. It's flexible. It's available. It's really cheap. So that's that. So the next goal that I've put down is to plant something and keep it alive. Um, out my front door, which is just here, I have a couple of pot plants that mum bought me when I moved in, which was lovely, and I planted some strawberries and some cucumbers and some spinach in there, and they all proceeded to die. So I really don't look after them. I really should. I'd really like to. Not. I don't feel like I have to. Not that I should. Should was the wrong term. I'd really like to plant something and keep it alive. So I'll be doing that hopefully soon because, you know, whatever. Um, then the next one I've written is to continue documenting my life through video. Um, and so that's what I'm doing here. Um, I just think it would be something valuable to do so that I can look back on this whole journey. I hate to say that, but, um, because I think it is something that'll be nice to look back on and, um, I'd like to be able to see where I've come from and see where I'm going. And yeah, um, so that's a goal of mine. Um, the next one I've written, the 16th goal is to make a new friend and I have great friends, don't get me wrong, I have some really great friends. I have probably too many friends, I can't really keep up with them all. Um, but I'd like to make a new friend in the in the new year and my life's going to go through a huge change with work. So um, yeah, I'll be meeting a lot of people and hopefully I can befriend at least one of them. I made a lot of friends in 2016 so... Um, you know, one more for 2017 is my goal. And so the 17th goal, it's not a big one. I really should have maybe ordered these better. So I was finishing on a high, but it's to keep a paper journal for the year um, and to keep my work schedule and my food recorded. So I'm going to do that in a combination of ways. I do keep a paper journal as it is um, now. This is my, my diary. Um, and I keep kind of my work schedule and things that I want to get done, homework that I want to do, appointments with my surgeon, things like that. Um, and so my goal for 2017 is to continue to do this because I find it, I find it valuable to have like a paper, um, a paper version. And I have a, a big paper clip, I don't know if you can see here, that I put um, notes and stuff in. I just have a schedule in there at the moment. Um, paper clips onto whatever, it's just at the front, June. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to keep that up, I guess. It's not, it's something that I already do, but probably not to its fullest. So and I find I'm, I'm much more productive and I can be calmer about my life and how busy it is if I keep it on paper. So another thing is that my mum gave me some Christmas gifts that were kind of like planning, um, diary related, um, journaling, I guess is another way to put it. Maybe it's not, not a diary as in dear diary, but you know, I just call it that a diary. I don't know. Um, so she gave me this well-being tracker. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but it has the weekly focus. So um, on the um, the example one, it says sleep. Um, and so you can track sleep, exercise, 
um, making time for me and things that you're grateful for so that'll be good I think I'll probably focus more on drinking enough water um, eating enough protein getting enough sleep because you know once I have my sleeve those are things that I'm gonna need to focus on um, to go with that mum also gave me a um, food exercise and sleep journal which I'm planning on using um, you know sleep is something that's vital and I really don't get enough of so I probably should have made that one of my goals but I really didn't want my goals to be as broad and resolution-y as get more sleep drink more water um, so you know to to use paper diaries like these I find um, better it feels better if you can keep up with it so then one more thing is that she gave me this magnetic meal planner um, which just has the week across there and then breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. Um, and this just is a good way, I guess, if I'm making multiple serves of something, I can map out when I'm going to have them during the week. So that's just some stuff that I got for Christmas that um, would be perfect for this, um, this kind of goal of mine. So that's my goals for 2017. That's 17 things that I want to achieve in 2017. I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to the new year. As much as a year, I mean, it, it just is what it is. It's just a date. It's just a number. But um, I'm excited. The big things are going to happen for me in 2017. So it's it, it is really exciting and I'm you know I'm looking forward to it I think it's gonna be really positive so again thanks for watching thanks to anyone who could follow what I was saying in my previous video um, I know it was pretty ridiculous and it was windy and it was weird but I just wanted to get the video up um, I think today I'm one month and 22 days away from my surgery uh, about 52 days in total so I'm really excited I'm really looking forward to it um, and yeah I'll be back soon with uh, pre-op update I suppose that would be, probably be my next video um, and thanks again for watching